Welcome guys to the to TNW. This is the tech portion of my Thursday. So I always want to make a tech portion for my tech nerds. And this is the geeky portion of the channel. So if you want to leave a like on this video, like it, subscribe, share it, and and get it, get the your voices heard. Um, I know that Mozilla is had had a couple of a days of reflection of what happened. Um, they found a zero day um breach on with a um browser lately. So that they they, they want everybody to update Firefox as soon as possible because of the potential threat happening to a uh, browser and I'm going to read the the article from NakedSecuritySurface.com talking about the patch as follow, let me get rid of it. Yeah, saying Mozilla fixed a critical zero day bug in the latest point releases of Firefox web browser. The security flaw allows attackers to run their own code by exploiting the browser with malicious JavaScript. And people are already targeting Firefox users in the wild. The bug affects both Firefox and enterprise counterparts. Extended support release, according to Mozilla Advisor. A type confusion of vulnerability can occur when a manipulating JavaScript objects due to issue in array dot pop and this is a very very serious of of, of of Mozilla because it's a open source it's a open source browser that browser that we use every single day and this is uncalled for, and they and they release a patch immediately. But not only one patch, but two patches. Seven seventy sixty seven point zero point three and sixty seven point zero point four. So they're able to fix it immediately, and. They said, yeah, tech confusion in pop array dot pop. And the impact is critical, according to Mozilla website. Let me show it to you. And I'll have a link in the description right here. This is the Mozilla um, website and this critical impact. So the only affecting Firefox six seven point zero point three and Firefox Enterprise endpoint release sixty point seven point one, and a type confusion vulnerability can occur when misleading, misleading JavaScript object due to issues in array dot pop. This can allow for exploitable crash. And we were aware of uh, attack, a target attack in the wild, abusing the law. And they actually a bug and they fixed it immediately. Good for fight fire, but <coughs> this might be, but, but um, this is really an issue because fight fire is a, is a open source, is an open source browser that allow programmers to update 
the browser willy nilly. So even though it's open source, like you you are prone to attacks like this. There were day people adding malicious um software that would hinder the user for doing everyday browsing using your browser for everyday web browsing. So yeah, like this is very, very serious and and they came out with the next patch fixing in Firefox six seven point zero point four the impact is still high, but I'm going to show you this. Even though it's high, there were both browsers. Inf insignificant venting a perimeter pass with the prompt open IPC message between child and parent processes can result in non-sandbox parent process opening web content chosen by a compromised child process. When combined with additional vulnerability, this could result in executing arbitrary code on the user computer. So they are taking it very, very serious with the security potential security breach, and really, I want y'all to go go home and update your Firefox as soon as possible. Even like if y'all, I think Firefox update the browser automatically if you connect to the internet. So. Go, go, go to Firefox and update your browser as soon as possible to get this bug fixed and you will have a sweet, sweet time having to be secure in everyday browsing experience. This is Ian signing off to Tech News um, with TNW. Um, I am, and, and you gonna see more videos like this every Thursday. Every Thursday, I won't try to do every Thursday tech news Thursday, and I will see you in that video. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Like if you haven't like. Um, and I will see you in the next video.